This episode of the Brett Davern Show is new, but it's been pre-recorded. And now, live on Adobe Radio, the Brett Davern Show. Getting high. Hey, you kids want to get high? I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey, you, I'm okay. Your kids want to get high. Uh, I, um, nah. I'm in here using a giant Sharpie right now, and I'm feeling a little loopy. I'm feeling a little, uh, not Sharpie. <laughs> it's the Brett Davern Show. Brought to you by Nice Guy Digital on Adobe Radio. And recorded live. Pre-recorded. In beautiful North Hollywood, California. On today's episode, I'll tell you the best thing I've seen and a Jonas Brothers quiz. Who? Now let's get to the guy who's graduated high school three times. That's me. You're new. <laughs> Your new best friend. <laughs> Brett Davern! Listen up, everybody. This is our show. Thank you for telling your friends and family about our silly program and for engaging with us on social media. If you want to shout out a friend, shout at us or with us, you can't this time. The email for the show is bdsfans at adobe.com. And no matter where we are in the world, we always read those. If you want to join this conversation for this episode, you can't. But you could still prove that you're listening live by tweeting at the Brett Davern Show. The uh, blue heart emoji. Nice. Yeah. Show us some love, people. All right, lots of show to get to today, but before we get to all of it, let's go around the room and say hello to people. Hello, soon to be named. Hello, Brett. Hello, Maddie Docious. Hello, Brett. And Katie LeClaire. It's national, I forgot to start the timer on time day. Hmm. A couple minutes late. Hmm. I'm just going to add two, just mm. assume that that's mm. correct. You know what assuming does, Katie? What's that? It makes you an Whoa. Whoa. What? That's uh, what my mom always told me. This is In the Morning by The Coral. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast version of The Brett Davern Show. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message and whatever song this is. Sometimes the rules just won't let us play real music on YouTube or the podcast. It's not a big deal. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a second. To the Brett Davern Show with that other guy from that one show on MTV. Yeah, you know, Brett Davern on Adobe Radio. The Brett Davern Show is brought to you by Cake Bams, artisanal rice cakes. Listen, people, when organic brown rice cakes are cleverly disguised in yummy flavors like vegan dark chocolate and sea salt or chocolate chip cookie, how can you go wrong? It makes the everyday feel like a cheat day. Listen, have your dessert. And keep your skinny jeans. All of the flavors are naturally gluten-free, and Brett Davern Show listeners get free shipping on their order, plus 10% off every single time. Just go to cakebams.com and enter the promo code BDS at checkout. That's BDS, as in Brett Davern Show. Check them out. Go to cakebams.com. That's C-A-K-E-B-A-M-S dot com. Cakebams.com. Dot com. It's the best thing Katie's seen so far today. 
This guy makes money selling fake holidays to corporations. And that's the best thing Katie's seen so far today. You mean like I didn't start the timer on time day? Well, that that one's that one's all me. So wait, I uh, I need I need more about this. So okay. there's a guy mm-hmm. who goes around to different corporations and then sells fake holidays. Does that mean he goes? Or, does that mean he goes into like Coca Cola and says, "Hey, it's National Dandelion Day. I just made that up." Or does he go into Coca Cola and say, "Would you like it to be National Coca Cola Day?" Uh, Do you know what I mean? They approach him. Here's what happened. In 2013, Marlo Anderson, who lives in Mandan, North Dakota, a population of 20,000 people. I was going to say, he's the one, huh? He's the one. Who lives in North Dakota? North Dakota is another one like Iowa. I'm not sure if it actually exists. Same with Wyoming. Oh, yeah. Excuse me? Are you crapping on my point? I was born in North Dakota. Yeah, but you're not there anymore. Yeah, and also, do you remember it? No. Therefore, yeah. you could have been born anywhere. All yeah, right. Okay. I think we squashed that yeah, one. All right. So ahead, Marlo, <laughs> in 2013, Marlo hears that it's National Popcorn Day, one of your favorite national you arbitrary sure it's a holidays. guy? You say it a guy. Marlo is a girl name usually, isn't it? Marlo Thomas? Marlo? No? So she hears that. Wait, I, don't no, know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. No, I'm asking. What's the article say? Uh, him by surprise. So oh, I think it's a okay, guy. It's yeah. a guy. All right. I'm just. I'm just asking. I. I don't know. I've never. Heard, I don't know if I've ever heard that name before. Marlo. Mm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> He'd like to find the origin of National Popcorn Day, and he can't find the history of it. Uh huh. So he started an online database called the National Day Calendar. Mm -hmm. And he's compiled all of the arbitrary national holidays onto this one website. But did he make, so he didn't make them up? Some of them, uh, no, he doesn't make them up. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Katie gets so distracted if I interrupt her while she's reading. You guys should be seeing this. Go ahead. He owns the website that is like the go-to if you want to know the national holiday. Uh Uh-huh. Every year he gets 18. Let's let's be honest. If you really want to know the national holiday, the go-to is the Brett Davern show. Ding. Every year, Marlo and his four staff members get 18,000 applications. If everyone is unanimous in approving that particular submission. Uh Uh-huh. Then it goes onto their website and becomes a quote unquote national holiday. Oh, so we could submit anything we want. If all four all five people agree to it unanimously, then pff, you're in. Right. Then you purchase the space on the website that says it's National Brett Davern Day. So they're like, Congratulations, we've approved you. Now you get to buy something. Now you get to pay us. Uh-huh. $2,300 starting. Whoa. And then if you want the the price to be, or if you want the exposure to be increased rather than just like throwing it on the list, then you can pay more. So for example, um, National Fajita Day <laughs> is August 14th and on the border Mexican restaurant purchased that day. Uh-huh. So yes, Coca-Cola or on the border na- or the grill or whatever Mexican restaurant they go to this is the guy. You know how we always talk about who's the guy? Yeah. It's Marlo. I'm also starting to now hate the national holiday thing even more. Cuz now it just really means nothing. Yeah, but we're a corporate shill now. Here's the thing. Marlo's day job? Uh-huh. He's the president of Zuvio, which is a company that digitizes VHS tapes. Oh. He's not quitting his day job anytime soon. He's got twenty three hundred bucks a pop, and but he's got to share with five other people here. And of the yeah, of the eighteen, how many days? It's every day. Three hundred sixty five times twenty three hundred divided by five. Hello. Of the eighteen thousand submissions that he gets a year, only about thirty get approved. What would you submit? I've got one. I like Blue Tape Day. We did that 
uh, what is yesterday? Blue painters tape day? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what's yours? Mine? Uh-huh. National wag your tail like a dog day. There you go. Boom. Came off the top of the old noggin. Soon to be named Megan would submit National Paul Jonas Day. That's not a day. What, wag your tail like a dog? Yeah. Yeah, I know, because it's clever writing. Well, no, I mean, it definitely could have been a day. There are random things. Yeah, for, but d- for example, let me just tell you this one. Give me credit for the way I said it. Wag your tail like a dog day. I, I like it. It's pretty I good. Like, I like your line reading there. National uh, August 8th is National Sneak Some Zucchini Onto Your Neighbor's Porch Day. So it is within the realm of possibility. That's pretty funny. That wag your tail like a dog day could exist. I just got the joke. <laughs> that was funny. That was a funny way to say it. Do you actually listen to me over there? Or you yeah. just... <laughs> All right. Oh, that was good. What else you got? Nothing. Let's just take a break. No, I mean as far as national holidays. You know oh, like random else? ones? No, for you. Do you got one you want to submit? Oh, uh, national eat a hot dog with ketchup day. Oh no 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 no. I wonder how long I could keep doing that before I ran out of breath. That should be you a national find, holiday. You want to find out? You want to fight about it? No. See, it should be national say ketchup until it loses its meaning day. I mean, you could do that. Don't do it right now. Ketchup, 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 ketchup. Ay, ay, ay. Let's play some music. Hey, uh, you know what I want to do? Tell me. We found this BuzzFeed quiz in which you take the quiz and it tells you which Jonas Brothers song to make love to tonight. Mm -hmm. And I want to take that quiz because, you know, I can't always just listen to Paula Abdul. This is Stare at the Sun by Not Once. Not twice, but thrice. Thank you for watching on YouTube or for listening to the podcast version of our show. We love you. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message. Sometimes rules don't allow us to play that kind of stuff on YouTube or on the podcast. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a few seconds. You're listening to The Brett Davern Show featuring Katie LeClaire on IW Radio. All right, Matadocious, how do I do this thing? All right, we're going to take this quiz. All right. You're going to have to look at some pictures. Ooh, which um, might get me in the mood for tonight yeah, if I'm yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. old Kevin and Joe and Paul. And Ringo. All right. They're George, too. Maybe their dad's name is George. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's right. What's Papa Jonas's name? Soon to be named? Kevin. Oh. It's like, I, or it's, yeah, it's Kevin. Kevin oh, Jonas. He has a, Kevin Jonas Sr. Kevin is a junior? He's got a management company, right? Yeah. yeah. He does. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. All right. Your first question is to pick your favorite of Joe's hair phases. Here, spin this towards me a little bit. Okay. We should tell the people. Matt, Joe. Matadocious has already taken the test. Mm-hmm. Megan, myself, and Brett are all taking it at the same time. Okay. Wait. Pick your favorite of Joe's hair phases. Disney Channel Joe. Columbia Camp Records Joe. Joe. SOS Joe. Yeah. Uh, and then Joe with a mustache. Mm-hmm. Can I just point out that his hair is the same in three of those photos and then there's one where it's long but his hair's the same in the rest of them it's just slicked in different ways spiky slicked down and like more of a yeah but it's the same length in those it's just styled different yeah i'm gonna go with a long camp rock joe that's best 
I kind of like the mustache. I, I met too. I met the Jonas Brothers backstage at an award show one time. All very nice young lads. I like them a lot. And they said they were a fan of Awkward, which I don't know if is true or not, but it was charming of them to say, and I appreciated it. I don't mind these boys. The next question is you're yeah. picking a favorite of Nick's diverse smolders. What? Oh, these are does, all exactly the same. He does give good smolder face. He does a blue steel that's pretty nice. I'm going to go with... Top left is more squinty. Yeah. Bottom top, le- uh, top left is like a little more smiley. Yeah. Smizy. But the other two exactly are, are exactly the same. His ears are really freaky in the bottom left one. Oh, I didn't notice the ears. That's I'm the gonna one go, I was going to pick. I'm but going now top I don't know right. I'm going top right yeah. on that one. All right. I'm this top is, right as well. This one's important. It's choose your favorite of Kevin's scarves. Does he always wear a scarf? He had a face. Kevin is this Paul? This is this Paul, Paul I'm looking at right now. Mm-hmm. I will say that at the award show, now that I'm seeing a picture of him, uh, Paul here was the most talkative. And oh, him, really? him and I had the best time hanging out. Yeah. Was he wearing a scarf when you met him? He was not wearing a scarf. And I'm kind of disappointed that I see him wearing all these scarves because the more scarves you wear, the more of a D you are. Mm. Like, Dude should be wearing this many scarves. You mean scarf options scarves. or just scarves in general? Just scarves in general. Like, you know, Lenny Kravitz wears a lot of scarves, and it's like, meh, he's Lenny. You know, he's cool, but, like, you wouldn't want to hang out with Lenny Kravitz. You know what I mean? Huh. Like, you know, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So Paul here, he's a nice young man. I just hope that this level of scarf wearing doesn't lead to some tomfoolery. We've got a... We've got a black and white scarf, a blue and white, and black and white, like, weird pattern. This picture of him in the top left, if you guys are taking this quiz at home, the picture of him in the top left looks like one of his senior photos from high school. Oh, yeah, and he looks like he's in an emo band. Yeah, I'm going to go with the bottom right because the scarf is undone, That's which what is I was the going with, yeah. least scarfy of them. Yeah, also it's the prettiest of the scarves. Okay, Maddie, what's Pick next? your favorite Joe Bro X. What We've does that got mean? Girls that have dated the Jonas Brothers. Joe Bro. Joe, Joe Bro. Bro. Yes. Uh. We've got Demi Lovato, uh-huh. Taylor Swift, uh-huh. Miley Cyrus, and Selena Gomez. Well, Brett, don't you dare. Brett? I'm no. going to have to. No, hold on. I'm going to have to go with T Swift <sighs> because of our history together. Oh. I'm going with Demi Lovato. Let's mm-hmm. go to the next question. Then again, I've got a Miley story, too. Oh, no, move on. All right. Choose your favorite sexually charged camp rock promo shoot. Do you guys know I had like four callbacks for camp rock? I know. It was close. It almost happened. I met Demi and everything. I got a Demi story. Oh, I got a Demi story. I have a Victoria Justice story too. Maybe we should just quit taking this test. I'll tell you all my stories about these young starlets. Jeremiah is going to be stoked. Victoria Justice story is fire. Is it one that Katie would approve of? Absolutely not. All right. So let's uh, pick the promo It's also one that shoe. Victoria and her mom would not approve of. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm going to go with the photo of... Look at Demi. She's so young in these. Why? Okay. Bottom right. I don't know their names, but we've got Nick and Joe, I believe. Where's Paul? Yeah. What's up? He's cropped out. Paul keeps getting cropped out. Why is he cropped? Also, can I, can I say something? This says, choose your favorite sexually charged camp rock promo shoot yeah shot. none of them are the only two that are sexually charged are the ones on the left it, sort of and the one on the top left is the only one that sort of is if you had seen camp rock you would know what's happening between those two right now i mean i'm pretty sure you probably read the script Weren't the jonas brothers the the nice young men that said they were gonna remain uh virgins until they were married isn't that didn't they say that camp rock changed it all no but they said that right you said Am that I right with about such that? disdain <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> they, they didn't make it did they no, they they are like open about it. Kevin maybe, but they're uh-huh. very open. Megan says yes. Uh, Nick and Joe have both been pretty like open about. They hooked up with Demi. Who did um, Joe lose it to? Ashley Green. Ashley Green. Who you talked to on the red carpet? Ashley Green. We interviewed her at Mammoth Film Festival. You should have asked her about Joe. Oh, I should have asked her what Joe smells like. All right, I'm gonna go top left. I'm going bottom left. Ooh. Finally, pick a title. Oh, sorry, Maddie. That's your job. Pick a title for your erotic Joe Bro fanfic. Uh, I don't see the Summer of Scandals. Pick a title for for your erotic Joe Bro fanfic. Fifty Shanes of Grey. I don't get that. 
His name was Shane in Camp Rock. Shane Camp- Gray. Shane Gray. His name was Shane Gray. Camp, Camp Rock. Rock Hard. Did they play Brothers in Camp Rock? Um, first year, no. I also should have pointed out. Wait, I'm sorry. They oh. weren't, and then they were. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I should. That <laughs> makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> My <laughs> names changed too between the first. Shooting holes through this plot line. I need to explain to everybody out there too. I should have explained it at the beginning that I have. I'm. I've met them. I've talked with them. They're nice dudes. I know nothing about them. I've never heard one of their songs. I don't know their song titles. I don't even know what type of music they play. I thought that they were actors. I didn't even know they were a band. I don't know anything about them. Fifty Shades of Grey, Camp Rock Hard, My Forbidden Threesome with Nick and Joe, not Kevin. Oh, poor Kevin. The unreleased and unrated third season of Disney Channel's Jonas. I will say that all of these are sexually charged. It does say erotic, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going with the unreleased and unrelated third season of Disney Channel's Jonas. Also, I feel like I could come up with better Jonas Brothers erotic titles. Megan definitely could. Yeah. I would, I would, my title would be that summer that Kevin showed me his Jonas. It's called a Joner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? That's like a thing? I'm rocking mm-hmm. a Joner so hard right now. You I'm going to go with uh, Camp Rock Hard. Okay. Ooh. I got. Katie, what are your results? When You Look Me in the Eyes. Uh, Wait, is this them? This is that song. Really? Here, I'll skip to This song. is the kind of music they play? Sometimes. I wish we had a Who's camera singing? on Who's singing named. right now, soon to be named? Nick. Nick? Does he always sing? Um, I mean, it goes between Nick and Joe. Oh, she, is that why Kevin's left out? He's a guitar soon player. to be named is smiling so big right now. <laughs> why is he singing like that? Because he wants to be in an emo band. <laughs> All right, What's that's enough results? of that. Mine is uh, you got to... Oh, wait, no. Gotta Find You. From Camp Rock. This Camp Rock classic will make for an epic release of physical and emotional passion as you finally confess that your partner is, in fact, the reason why you are singing. This sounds exactly like the first song. Ooh. Yes. Yikes. Oh, I missed something in my description. Sorry to go back. Excuse me, this is my Jonas Brothers moment. Okay. I have to admit, I'm getting a Joner. I'm half Joner right now. Soon to be named, what was your result? Time for me to fly. Which one? Time for me to fly. Time for me to fly? All right. That's an REO Speedwagon song. <laughs> Wow. It may not be on Spotify. I don't think it is. It's the it's the album that they took off the the Why they have oh, to take okay. it off? Was there controversy? It was with Columbia Records and then they went to Disney. Oh. Uh, mm. With an emoji. Mm. Which one's yours, Maddie? What did you get? Burning Up. Classic Joe Bro. <laughs> Man, I was listening to good music like in sync. <laughs> I couldn't. Every song sounds the same. Like, I mean, just the beat in the background changes, but like if you were to cut out the music behind what he's singing, it's pretty much the exact same song every time. Why does he sound sounds- like he's doing a, a clean and jerk every single time he starts singing? A what? A clean and jerk. That's a weightlifting term, Katie. Don't get any ideas when you pat the barbell on the ground and then you pick it up you go Hah! that's what he sounds like every time he starts singing Hah, girl Hah, Hah. I'm in love with you girl Megan just quit I think Hah. 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 sounds like Britney Spears like you know she's like Hah. Hah. she does that weird yeah 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 I mean look I grew up listening to crap too but that's <laughs> definitely crap but they're nice boys. Boys, I like you. They're also getting into acting lately. They also all have like 
Like, like, like I mean, real acting. Like the one guy had a movie about like frats that came out. Well, and Joe Jonas is in out in DNC. What? Oh, is he? Yeah. What is that? That's he's oh, the band the Cake by the Ocean. Have you you've heard oh. that song? That's him. Oh, cool. Nick Jonas has solos, and Kevin's a dad. So. Yeah, but one of them is really doing like some pretty hardcore he had to acting get married, lately. Though, right? He's trying it. Yes. <laughs> Wait, oh, Paul's married. Married with the kid. They had a reality show, but it was way too boring because they were way too normal. Did he do this the whole time? Yeah. No, he's, he's the guitar singing. player. Yeah, he's the guitar player. Oh. Do you even listen to the show when we're talking? No. Hey, Katie. This one's called Be More Kind. By... Did you hear that? He started singing without going, yeah. This is Frank Turner. Turn it up. I can see you. Thank you for watching on YouTube or listening to the podcast version of The Brett Davern Show. If you were listening live on Adobe Radio, you'd be hearing real music right now instead of this message and whatever song this is. Sometimes the rules just won't let us play real music on YouTube or the podcast. It's not a big deal. Just putting it out there. Back with more show in a second. Shows not only an awesome radio show, but you can watch episodes for free on YouTube. YouTube.com slash the Brett Davern Show. Adobe Radio. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Five seconds. Yeah. Yay. So can I read you the description? Can I read you the description to my thing? Uh oh, your song that came up at the end of the result? Yeah. Yes. It says you got when you look me in the eyes and then it says you and your partner will find your paradise which i think is a quote from the song mm. in the bedroom tonight with this power ballad why playing in the be, background why has it got to be in the bedroom that's true i mean come on bonus clear, points clear off the kitchen counter and turn on some joe bro joe bro bonus points if you can time your orgasms to joe's powerful ad lib at 307 oh. but since i've never heard this song i I'm well, just curious. Let's jump straight to the to the climax. I mean, what did you say on We Sam show? What? Four plays the best part of life. Yeah, but let's jump right to it because I can't listen to him sing for very long. Okay, here we go. This is uh, four seconds before, so here we go. Okay. That's the moment. You love me. Is every word have to be slid into like that? Yes. Tell me that you love me. Oh, give me a break. Give me two weeks of dance rehearsal. I could have been a Jonas brother. I don't Gosh. know if you would even need that much time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. <sighs> yep. What else do you want to talk about? <laughs> I think they're nice young men. I just don't, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't see it. Huh. I don't see it. JC Chazé would mop the floor with him in a singing competition. JC Chazé is pretty outstanding. Yeah, come on. Please. I think it's it's that thing where um I understand why you'd be a fan of theirs. Um because it, it makes sense. They're up on stage. They're good-looking young lads, and they they sing and play instruments and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, why not? But um, but part of it is that, that, like, sliding into it. Oh, totally. Yeah, it's a style for sure. But also it's that thing where um, the reason the reason that um, they're popular is because they're up on the stage and – they're popular, so then they become more popular. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, if they just had to do it from scratch, like if the Jonas Brothers were just on a street corner in uh, Winslow, Arizona, you know, with a guitar case out and trying to get signed to a label, like, I just don't know if it – it would. It happens because someone goes like, well, they're good-looking. People will like them. You know, it doesn't happen because of the musicality. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. That's I all. totally agree. Yeah, but then again, that's that's all boy bands. Why not? I mean, they all, they all auditioned for all of them. You know, InSync was put together in a lab as well. 
you know, it started with the monkeys. It did. And then my uh, dad's a fan on of the and monkeys. On and on and on and on. I always made fun of them. I think we should start the Brad Davern Show boy band. Oh, who's in it? What do you mean? It would just be me and Boy Wonder. It would be it's a two man band. Could be Tom could be part. Yeah, except I'd have to do all the singing. I think. You would want to anyway. That's true. Dan used to be in a band. I know. I know. He plays guitar pretty good. He does. Plays the old guitar. He could be the Kevin. <laughs> Aw. Then nobody will like him. Aw. Aw. You could get Fish, too. Fish was in a band. Oh, yeah. All right. This is starting to come together. Dan, Fish, and Brett. Dan, Fish. And the, all the t-shirts will say, I got BDS. DFB. What? I got BDS. I got BDS at a DFB concert. <laughs> DFB <laughs> makes me think of. This. Oh no, I can't say that. Never mind. Oh. Hmm. I'll let it go. What else you want to talk about? What's been going on in Katie's world lately? Uh, I worked out at the gym yesterday. Uh huh. I just want to say that. Yeah, without yeah. me, you're trying to rub my face in it. We but usually then, work out together. She gets in the car yesterday morning. She's like, oh, I went to the gym uh, in the late afternoon. And I was like, what, you think you're better than me? Yeah. Here's what happened, though. Karma got me. I took a shower. Uh-huh. And there's like a soap dish. And it had like extra soap around the soap dish. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to rinse this off while I'm standing here. Is and at the gym? Do you shower at the gym? No. Oh. Is it at your place? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, so the soap dish falls out of my hand, uh -huh. ricochets off the side of the shower, into my ankle, it's swollen, it's black and blue, and I have a slight limp. Wait, you have a soap dish in the shower? Yeah. That holds the soap? Well, yeah. A bar of soap? Yes. You use a bar? I have a few soap options. I feel like most ladies I know go with the, uh, like a squeeze bottle of soap, you know, like a liquid soap. Yeah, but, you know, like a face soap or something like that. You have different soaps? Yes. Oh, I've got one bar of soap in the shower. It does everything. Yeah. Yeah. Girls like options. Hmm. This was at your place? Yeah. Not at her place? Right. Uh-huh. You ever shower at the gym? Uh, I have. I don't, I don't like, like it. it. <laughs> we both said it at the same time. <laughs> I don't like it. No. I don't, don't want like to wear sandals in the shower. No. No, thanks. It feels strange. Yeah. Uh, they get all s sloopy. I, I know a person who uh, would shower at the gym and not have sandals. So this person wore socks in the shower at the gym. Well, that's even worse. It soaks it all up. Keeps it, keeps it next You're right. to your skin. It's worse. It's a bad choice. That's not a good choice. No, it's not. That soaks up all the other people's pee and whatever else they're doing in the shower at the gym. I've seen Seinfeld. A whole episode about that. Yeah. Yeah. Socks in the shower at the gym is worse than sandals in the shower at the gym. Yeah, Worst of good. all, barefoot, though. Yeah, yeah. Don't go barefoot. Mm -mm. Unprotected at the gym shower is not good. What's with the people who wear their shoes in the sauna? What do you mean? At the gym. Yeah? They just go tromping around with their sneakers I on. would rather wear my shoes in the sauna. It's a it's a it's a co-ed sauna. Mhm. Mm I don't know. Because going barefoot in the sauna is just like going barefoot in the shower. Well, There's right. tons of sweat everywhere. There's people dripping from the pool and whatever. It's all wet and whatever. So I'd rather just keep my shoes on. Why don't they let you keep your shoes? I don't know because you know, it'll get all dirty or whatever. But I would argue that most people have just gym shoes, you know? Yeah. Plus, they say take off your shoes, right? But then the employees of the gym are constantly walking in there in their shoes. Mm hmm Yeah, stupid. That doesn't make sense. Gym policies. You know my brother was telling me? That his gym towels at his gym are microchipped, so you can't, you, you can't accidentally take the towel home. 
Oh my gosh. I know. What's up with that? They would kick you out of that gym so fast. I, I accidentally take it home every time. <laughs> it's always just like over my shoulder and I walk out of the gym and then I get to the car and I'm like, oh, I got another towel. Truly every day. I know. But nobody ever stops me on my way out of the gym. And I would just throw it back. I'm, it's, I'm not trying to take it. It just happens. Oh, speaking of that, the boy the other day, mm-hmm. he stole something from the grocery store. I know. It's just like me with the gym towels. We were at the grocery store. We were like at the, you know, checkout thing or whatever. And he must have just grabbed. It was a, um, uh, what do you call it? It's a, a kinder egg, mm, you mm-hmm. know? And so he must have just reached over. He sits in the cart, you know, and he must have just reached over and grabbed it. And I didn't notice. And then I paid for everything, you know, wrapped wrapped up everything with the person there. And then... Went out to the car, put him in his seat, got all the way home, and then he walked in the door and he was like, he was holding this thing and like shaking it around. And I was like, where'd you get that? Uh, uh, oh, I don't, oh. I thought those were illegal in the United States because I thought they were a choking hazard. No, they figured it out. The candy's only on one side of the thing when you open it and they figured it out. The toy's not actually inside the egg anymore. The lawyer, oh. the lawyers have taken all the fun out of everything. You want the the kids to choke? No, it's just that like, it's a chocolate hollow egg with a toy inside. You bite into it and or whatever. You know, there's a toy inside. What's the deal? Like, just big deal. You the know? kid doesn't know. That's the problem. <sighs> whatever. And he starts chewing on the plastic thing. Spit it out. Mm. Survival of the fittest, man. If you can't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be around anyway. Especially when you're 23. Yeah, I know. (laughs) Oh, that kid. (laughs) Proud of him. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I just I just had a a picture a mental image of my twenty three year old son sitting in the cart. (laughs) Me pushing him around. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Started started applying to colleges a couple weeks ago. We're really proud of him. Yeah, still loves the Kinder Eggs, though. <laughs> Never choked once. Oh, he chokes all the time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that too much. That's a wrap, everybody. On another edition of the Brett Davern Show. Thank you out there for listening live on Adobe Radio or subscribing on YouTube, iTunes, or wherever you get your podcasts. If you like what you heard, just tell a friend. Tell them. Say goodbye. Producer Katie. Bye. (laughs) (laughs) Producer Katie's on Twitter and Instagram at Katie LeClaire. You should follow her. Come on. Slide in right behind her. Follow her everywhere she goes. Why'd you give me a weird look, Maddie? See, you make it weird. I didn't make it weird. I was saying follow her. I didn't make it weird. You made it weird. You can slide in right behind me on social media at bdavva. That's where I like you. Behind me. Because I'm the commander. And you're the follower. Maddie, Maddie's you keep so making this read really weird. I, I haven't said anything inappropriate once. You keep making it weird. Just stay behind me until you're finished listening. And then go follow the show on any social media, including Facebook, at Brett Davern Show. You can get behind Matadocious on Twitter. At Matadocious. <laughs> Why are you so uncomfortable? I'm not. I think it's funny. Oh. <laughs> Today's guest, the Jonas Brothers. Uh, it can be found by just Wait, typing in Jonas Brothers. if you know Brothers. them so well. What? If you know them so well, we should try to get them on the show. All right. I'll work on it. Megan's back. She was going to quit. She's back now. I think I said something about... 
their music being crap, though. I don't think they would like that very much. Mm. Yeah. They might agree. It's true. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, that was a different time. Ah, so for Katie and Boy Wonder, who's never here anymore, and soon to be named and Matadocious, and Nick, Joe, and Kevin, I'm Brett, and I'm reminding all of you to be kind. Like Frank Turner says. That's right. And just take care of each other. That was our show. Good night, North Dakota. This doesn't exist. It's totally fake. That's it for the Brett Davern Show today. But don't worry, they'll be back tomorrow on Adobe Radio Live, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific.